Hey, welcome back once again, everybody. I'm Colin Weaver. These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day, where almost every single day I come at you with two questions to help you continue for your CISSP exam. So, let's go ahead and jump right in it. Right, question number one. You've determined that a user who is currently unknown to you has been making unauthorized modifications and in some cases deleting files um, in an unauthorized way. Of the answer choices listed here, which of them is not going to help you mitigate this problem? Go ahead and click pause, and then when you're ready, after checking those all out, click on play, and we can talk it through. All right, the first answer choice says you should encrypt the files to prevent unauthorized deletion. Uh, while that may sound compelling, that is straight up wrong, which in this question makes it a right answer. Um, encrypting files does not prevent somebody from deleting the files. Encrypting them makes them confidential. It pre prevents them from viewing the files. But from a deletion perspective, nope, no protection there. So that is one of the correct answers because it will not help you mitigate this issue. All right, second choice says you should configure user level auditing for the files and folders in question. Uh, that is absolutely something that you should do because it's gonna help you figure out who's doing this. Uh, so you can go in and turn on success and failure audits so that you can have a record of what's going on. Um, but because that's going to help you, it is a mitigating solution. Um, that's not one of the right answers. Remember, we're looking for things that are not going to help you. Third answer choice says you should digitally sign the files to prevent unauthorized modification. <sighs> no. Very compelling answer. Just because the files are digitally signed doesn't mean that somebody isn't going to modify them. It simply means that you can detect that they did modify them. So going in and implementing signing is not going to prevent these modifications from occurring. So remember, we're looking for things that are not going to help. So this is one of the correct answers. Um, a lot of times people think, oh, you're signing them. So therefore it prevents people from making modifications. No, signing them helps you detect the modifications. And assuming you're using a good trust infrastructure tells you who made the modifications, but, um, but preventing them doesn't do that. Fourth answer choice says that you should set the appropriate file permissions in the file system. Absolutely you should do that. And that's gonna be one of the things that's gonna help you defend against this. So being one of the correct things you should be doing, again, we're looking for knots here. So you're not going to, or excuse me, you are going to do this, so it's not the right answer. And then the last choice is also something that you should be doing, which is maintaining good backups of your data. Um, so that's a yes in terms of wanting to do it, which makes it a no in terms of this answer for the question. So encrypting files to prevent unauthorized deletion and digitally signing files to prevent unauthorized modification, um, those are the right answers in this choice because those aren't things that are going to help you defend against this particular problem. Uh, this question really is all about making sure that you have a good understanding of what encryption can do for you and what encryption cannot do for you because that concept or those overall concepts are something that you're certain to be tested on on the exam. So make sure you know what encryption's limitations are as well as what its capabilities are. Okay, here comes question number two. My question for you is, given all these different answer choices right here, which of them are true regarding TLS, IPsec, and SSH? So have a look, click pause if you need to. When you're ready, click play, we can talk it through. All right, first answer choice says that they are non-routable and must be tunneled. That is some junk that I just made up to sound very compelling and interesting if you really weren't sure what was going on here. Um, they are absolutely routable, and uh, in many cases, they are the tunnel. So no, this is not the right answer. Next answer choice says that they all operate at the transport layer of the OSI model. Uh, no. Most people would say that Secure Shell operates at the application layer of the OSI model, IPsec operates at layer three of the OSI model, and TLS operates somewhere above layer three in the OSI model. You're gonna find stuff on the internet with people talking about how TLS operates at layer four, some people wanna say it operates at layer six, some people wanna say it operates higher than that. The real answer is, is that TLS doesn't neatly fit into the OSI model. So what we can say with certainty though is that it operates above layer three. Um, and where up there in some ethereal plane, and you guys can fight with me or argue amongst yourselves about where it works, but um, you're gonna pick up a book that's gonna tell you different things. I think Wikipedia says it operates at layer six, but um, I don't really agree with that, but I can see why they say that. 
but none of that really matters that much because they're not going to bust your chops on the CISSP exam about the specific layer where TLS goes into works in the OSI model. Um, you just need to have a good cursory awareness of where different protocols work in the OSI model so that you can kind of be able to weed them out in questions like this. Next answer choice says that they are supported in all IP version 4 nodes. Um, I put this in here specifically to illustrate the point of why this is incorrect, and the reason it's incorrect is specifically related to IPsec. IPsec is supported in IP version 4. It is, however, not mandatory in IP version 4. So it's perfectly plausible that you have an IP version 4 node which is wholly and completely incapable of doing IPsec. Now, that is not true in IP version 6. If a node supports IP version 6, it must support IPsec by standard. So uh, just because you have IP version 4 support on a device does not necessarily mean that you're going to have IPsec support on a device, which makes this not the right answer. Next answer choice says that they all offer confidentiality for data. Yes, this is the right answer. TLS, SSH, and IPsec all offer the capability for you to go in and have an encrypted channel of communication between two endpoints. Now, I guess you could put one little asterisk and caveat next to this, which is to say that it is technically possible for you to implement IPsec using only authentication headers, in which case you would not have confidentiality. It's not done super often when it comes to data flows, but it is technically possible to do. And I believe if you look at the wording that I've got up here, it says that it's, you know, it, it's possible for them to do it. It's not guaranteed that they do it. But certainly TLS is going to provide confidentiality services. SSH is going to provide confidentiality services. And the overwhelming majority of the time, IPsec is also going to provide confidentiality services in the form of the Encapsulated Security Payloader, ESP. And then the last answer choice here, which is also not correct, is that they only offer asymmetric cryptography. Um, in reality, all three of these protocols make use of both asymmetric and symmetric cryptography. The asymmetric cryptography component is going to be involved in the initial setup of the connections, and then once those connections are established and secure uh, symmetric keys are exchanged, the actual encryption of the data that's going back and forth between the nodes is done using symmetric key cryptography. So they make use of both, not just one or the other. All right, boom, boom, two more questions down. Hope you like them. Hope they help you on test day. Um, if you did like them, please click the like button. If you want more of them, please click the subscribe button. I need to know that people actually benefit from this and they're loving it. So let me know that by subscribing. That will be awesome. And I'll do more questions for you tomorrow. Peace. Bye.